Welcome back. In what could decide the fate of several students aspiring to get into the Indian Institutes of Technology, the government will hold a crucial meeting to discuss whether there should be a single entrance test for admission to the prestigious institutions. Human Resource Development Minister Kapil Sibal is pushing for a single joint entrance test to replace the current IIT JEE and AIEEE, two of the most established engineering examinations for gaining entry into undergraduate technical courses at the IITs. The ministry is keen to implement this format from the next academic year in 2013, something that is being firmly opposed by the Faculty Federation and most of the IIT Senate's decision-making bodies that look into the academics of the institutes. We thought that one of the fundamentals uh, in any examination system for any competitive system is to reduce stress. Uh, the second was that uh, children were not really uh, taking much interest in the class 12 boards and we wanted to revive and rejuvenate the school system and strengthen the class 12 boards. And therefore we realized that some weightage must be given uh, to the results in the class 12 board. So that was our second objective. And our third objective, as I indicated earlier, was that, uh, that if we have a common merit list, uh, then obviously um, there is a um, reduction in the element of discretion uh, that institutions can use in admitting students. But once we have a common merit list, the student can decide where the student wants to go and study to which particular course, uh, depending on the institute. And if you were wondering how this time's IPL champions were greeted by their home state, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee smiled as she said that she has but her state's love to give to the new IPL champions, the Kolkata Knight Riders. The Chief Minister has planned a grand felicitation at the iconic Eden Guardian Stadium tomorrow. It will be an open house, no tickets between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. and entry will be on a first-come, first-served basis. on international grounds former british prime minister tony blair who has faced criticism for his close ties to media magnate Rupert Murdoch when he was in office, appeared before the Leafs and inquiry into media standards yesterday. The inquiry set up by the British government in the wake of scandals involving phone hacking for journalistic ends and payments to public servants such as police officers for in sensitive information has been hearing a series of key witnesses from the country's political and media establishments. Blair is likely to be questioned about his relationship to the Murdochs and the stable of British newspapers. Back and, and that brings us to the end of this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDTV Hindu for more news and updates. Coming up next is News in Tamil.